What is going on, buddy? Welcome back to another brand new video. Today is another brand new update for Dragon Ball fans, of course. Anyways, today we'll be talking not just about like anime stuff in general, but this is more for video game side. We've never had a real update in a long time on video games for Dragon Ball. Well, besides Breakers, but I don't know what people think of that game. People are still iffy, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, besides that... Let's talk about the one biggest thing that I think a lot of people are very intrigued and been kind of wondering if we are ever going to get this in general, which is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, which has recently been announced. Uh, I noticed this today by DBS Chronicles, where pretty much it says, expect it to be released in 2024. Now, I think this is really fascinating, this is really intriguing, and also too, I found out recently that even Geekdom said it the other day, apparently, I guess on a, a stream, uh, like it says right there, and but it says plans could change, but you never, like, oh well, right? So, I think this is a really fascinating concept for fans in general, because one, we got literally an announcement about saying about movies every two three years and at the same time we're going to be getting uh and the anime series next year uh which is going to be weekly and i think it's really going to be intriguing to see like how this is all going to plan out from here on out and i think it's really cool really awesome uh for us in general as fans uh for dragon ball franchise like I, I really don't know what else to personally say. This is a really intriguing, very fascinating concept. I know we recently just got a DLC for Xenoverse 2, um, but I hope like they can transfer a lot of stuff that's already over there and like maybe put into the new Xenoverse 3 game or at least uh, some newer stuff that's not just in Xenoverse 2 because I think it would be really personally uh, be intriguing to see these more new stories and stuff like that. I know the recent um, DLC has about Goku pretty much becoming uh, Ultra Instinct uh, whenever he's going against Kid Buu, which I think is a little different. But uh, it's a what if story, so I can't really say too much. But it is uh, fascinating that like we're getting these random what ifs or what the case may be. But I hope like they can bring like these brand new stories from, especially from Dragon Ball Super and maybe even the movie as well and stuff like that. So I'm hoping like we get to like transfer all these stories over from you know, and, and plus it'd be even cool in general too if they had Dragon Ball uh, as well also in Xenoverse Three because I think that would be really personally intriguing and fascinating for us um, if we got all the franchises in one game because we've had that before. With like Tenkaichi and stuff of that. So it would be cool to see like you know the Bukai and Tenkaichi. Like all characters from that. That we got from all from the franchise. Um, and like bring it over as well. And also include like I said Super. So that would be really cool and fascinating to see what's going to happen with that. If that's not going to be the case. Then at least like something at least that is new. That we've never seen yet in the universe. That's all I ask. Because um, I feel like with Xenoverse 1 and 2, they've been very similar stories. And I feel like we haven't really gone anything really different. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, you know, the, the stories are, you know, the same, of course. But, like, they're both different slightly. But, like, you know, um, I just found, like, you know, with comparing Xenoverse 1 and 2, it, they, they're they pretty similar. They, you know, they have the DBZ arc and stuff like that. But then that's, that's pri pretty much it for that, personally. So... Besides the DLC, I'm not counting DLCs or whatnot. I'm just counting the game in general. So, I just want to see what's going to happen for that personally. And I hope we don't get, like, freaking DLCs like Xenoverse 2 is right now. Where it's going to be gone for another decade or so. I don't know, like, if that's going to happen or not. It probably might end up the same way again. Um, but I just hope, like, they don't just keep pushing the DLCs out uh without making brand new games that's the only thing that i'm kind of hoping about but other than that guys let me know down in the comment section below what are your thoughts opinions about this personally because i would love to hear your thoughts about that about the brand new announcement we got for xenoverse 3 coming out in 2024 and that's pretty much it so let me know down in the comment section below and i'll see you of course in the next videos peace everybody have a great day